Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, welcome. I am a 40-something year old mother of three. I work full-time, my husband works full-time, and we do have a side hustle that we do together occasionally. This channel is all about budgeting, saving, paying off debt. It's real life, real tears, and real frustrations. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I am um, sorry that this video is about a day late. I actually probably two-ish days late. Um, I had a really bad sinus infection earlier this week. I have sinus issues. I actually had a head CT and um, found out that I have a cyst, I guess, in my maxillary sinus, which makes sense because I've been having problems for years and it's just one of those things that builds up over time. So I don't really know what the next step is. I'm waiting for my ENT to call me and let me know what they want to do. Um, the CT was, in, was ordered by them so they could kind of have a better idea of what was going on. So, But um, earlier this week, I was not well at all. And then the next day, I just had zero energy. It's been um, a rotten last few days. So I'm trying to hurry up and get this done and up so you guys can see what's going on this week. So this is for last week. Um, my husband's uh, paycheck was 522. I was 15, 20, 1566. Um, we did roll over 272 and we didn't put anything from our side hustle in. And um, so it was a 2360 total for the week for income. And then all of these were the same except um, my Kohl's. I was gonna do the minimum payment. I thought it was 25, but it was actually 29. It's fine, I did the $29 and that came out to 1894 instead of 1890, which left us a total of $466 to roll over to the next section. Um, and so we filled all of those, which was 398. Uh, oh, sorry, I, I was wrong on that. Um, I did go grocery shopping and it was a little over. If you saw my previous video about what we spent, um, our groceries was a little higher. I think I'm going to have to start budgeting more for groceries, but you know, we'll see. So anyways, so that was $3.98, which left $68. And we did stuff all of these for a total of $2.95 and leftover was a negative $2.27, which I'm rolling over to this week. So I'll move that out to the side. So I did put the $2.27 down here. And then I did, we did have a side hustle amount that I decided to put in to help kind of offset that. It's about $15 short, but it'll be better than nothing. And we do have a buffer in our checking account, so I'm not too concerned about it. I just don't like dipping into it. So I like to get out of that as much as possible. And uh, my husband did get paid um, $8.52. It actually should have been more. They messed up on the pay rate that he was supposed to be getting. So they're supposed to be um, giving him back pay, but I don't know if it's going to go on this next Friday check or it'll, if it'll be a week after that. So we'll see. So, um, I'm just glad that we caught it. So anyways, and we only have a couple of bills coming out this week. We have life insurance for 19, our cell phone bill. I always budget 350, but it was actually 319. So that's good. Um, and then school meals, for 60, so let's add that up, which is 398. Oh, I forgot, I wanted to make sure this was right, so 852 plus 212 minus 227, it was 837, so 837 minus, minus the 398 is $439. And we are going to stuff all of these, um, which always ends up, sorry, I'm a little owl got in the way, um, which ends up just being 345, so minus 345, which is $94, which we bring up here. And now I decided that we are only going to um, stuff these up here, and this is an automatic thing that gets transferred over. We have two checking accounts, one that's for regular bills, and then one that I do for streaming. Um, like miscellaneous stuff and I transfer every Friday $15 over to that to help pay for the month's um, streaming um, cost. So anyway, so these should be 
think it's like 115 with that included, but let's add these up because I'm not doing these ones that are not highlighted. So, you know what, actually I'm gonna just cross those out. These are not as important to me as the other ones, so um, that's why I'm not upset about not um, stuffing them. They're actually new categories that I added in, so it's going to be a situation where um, we just do. So, and then 15, I'm sorry, 195, not, not 95 or 80 or whatever. So I don't know what I said before. I'm still kind of foggy from my being sick. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. 195 up here. Okay, so 94 minus 195 is $101. So we'll be going into next week being $101 short. However, um, because the checks were wrong, it should make up for that. Um, and then um, my husband also got some overtime this week, but we're going to probably squirrel that overtime money over to um, the week. You know, we're going to set that aside for when we are gone on vacation because he's only going to get paid for one day during that time. And I want to make sure we have enough money. So this month was really wonky. Normally we wouldn't be negative at the end of the month, but um, if you guys remember, if you've been around or if you've looked back on previous videos, my husband got a new job. And so there was a week where he wasn't paid at all uh, because he always gets paid, you know, most jobs they pay the week after or two weeks after or whatever, depending on the pay period, uh, he gets paid weekly. So that one week towards the beginning of the month, he was unpaid. So. Um, we were kind of short on that. So, but the good thing is, is we did pay off all of our debt that we were wanting to pay off this month, like pay towards this month. We met all those goals and I'm very excited about that. So anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment if you like. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out and it will um, help the algorithm as well to get this out to other people as well. And then it also will um, show YouTube the type of content that you like to watch. Could be budgeting, could be cash envelope stuffing, things like that. Um, and it's free, so why not? And uh, for returning subscribers, thank you again for being here. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.